welcome to the 49th Annual People's Choice Awards. That's right, this show is almost 50 years old, but you know, it is Hollywood, so with a little Botox, some light filler, and a couple months on Ozempic, it won't look a day over 31. I guarantee it. My name is Simu Liu, and I will be your host this evening. Yes, thank you. An Asian host of a major award show. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, Honestly, it is pretty great being back. I, uh, I won the Best Action Star Award here a couple years ago for a little film I was in called Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, it was, it was a big deal. And, you know, I remember at the time I was really concerned that my career had peaked. But uh, since then, I'm very happy to report that I was in a Dua Lipa music video. So I'm doing pretty damn good, you guys. I'm, I'm good. Uh, now, tonight, we dive into the year's most iconic pop culture moments as voted on by you, the people. That's right. People's Choice Awards are decided on by actual fans who cast their votes the proper way on their phones, probably while sitting on the toilet. <laughs> and whether it was music, television, sports, or movies, this was the year of the fans. The day ones, the diehard stands, the people who make those Pedro Pascal edits on TikTok. I see you. Yes, to borrow some highly confusing Gen Z slang, the fans really ate this year. Beyonce had all of us cutting the noise for the mute challenge. No, that's not, that's not how you do the mute challenge, you guys. Jacob Elordi and Barry Kilgan ensured that none of us would ever look at backwater the same way again. Or uh, dirt, for that matter. Highly disturbing slash arousing scene. And uh, Oppenheimer showed us that a three-hour drama about the moral complexities of creating the atom bomb could be a massive financial success as long as it came out on the same day as Barbie. Bazinga. That's right. Uh, now, it was also a phenomenal year for television. Audiences were compelled by wealthy, scheming families, tense arguments in bustling kitchens, and monsters in a post-apocalyptic landscape. And that's all just from Real Housewives, you guys. That was all just one show. <laughs> You guys should check it out. It's pretty good. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, you know, Beef was another massive hit show for television. Get up for Beef, yes. And you know, I personally love this show because it really proves that Asian people are just as multifaceted as everyone else. We don't all just, like, do martial arts, okay? We can also be awful human beings with uncontrollable rage issues that probably do martial arts. So you better watch yourselves, all right? And finally, for the most iconic pop culture moment of the year, who could forget that one little movie about a blonde American icon that had the entire country dressing up, dancing the night away, and making huge waves at the box office? I'm talking, of course, about Taylor Swift, the Eras Tour movie. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you, did you think I was going to say the other? No, 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 no. Look, I was a Swifty long before I was Ken, okay? Just wanted to be super clear on where my loyalties lay. I'm a 1989 baby, so Taylor and I, we're bonded, all right? We've got a great show for you all tonight. We have comedy legend and our people's icon, Adam Sandler, in the house. We are honoring Lenny Kravitz with our Music Icon Award, and Lenny's going to perform his biggest hits of all time right here on this stage. We have huge performances from Lainey Wilson and Kylie Minogue, and we're handing out awards to your favorite stars all night, baby. Now, are you ready for an amazing night? Let's get the show started.